Welcome to our Spacey tutorial. If you're new to natural language processing, you might be wondering about some of the key concepts in Spacey. Today, we're addressing a question from a fellow beginner who wants to simplify the documentation for terms like orth, lemma, tag, and pause. Let's break down what these terms mean and how they relate to the code snippet provided. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the key components of space E that we will be discussing. Orth, lemma, tag, and pose. In the provided code, we load the English language model and process a sample sentence. This allows us to analyze each word in the sentence. Now, let's break down the output of the loop. Each word in the document is analyzed, and we print various attributes. It's important to note the difference between print word and print word .orth. The first prints the word object, while the second prints the original text of the word. In summary, understanding these attributes helps you analyze text effectively using Spacey. Each attribute provides unique insights into the words in your text. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When you print a word in Spacey, you're actually printing the token class, which outputs a string representation. This is different from printing word.orth or word.text, which give you the string directly. The word.orth seems to behave like word.text in most cases. Meanwhile, word.lemma provides the lemmatized form of the word, such as mapping is, am, and are to be. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.